Uh, hey guys, and this is the Panasonic Super Unidirectional Electric Condenser Microphone. Uh, it does a good job and uh, stacks up the competition quite fairly compared to other brands out there, such as the Sennheiser, the Behringer, as well as the Rode Condenser Mics, right? Uh, being a condenser mic at such a price point, I think you would expect it to, you know, deliver quite impressively. I'll be sure to leave a link below where you can get the mic uh, internationally as well as locally. And uh, we're going to unbox and review it in terms of its features uh, straight out of the box and uh, see how well of a good job it does in terms of uh, audio capture, right? And uh, another thing to mention is this. This is the uh, EM2800A model, which is also uh, quite similar to the EM2600A model. It's made in China. But, well, Chinese products nowadays are, you know, delivering in terms of awesomeness, in terms of good quality. And being the Panasonic brand that is quite well known out there in terms of uh, audio systems, I think you can trust this uh, particular mic to deliver when compared to, you know, uh, generic products that are available uh, out there, right? So straight out of the box uh, is the microphone itself together with a couple of, you know, audio accessories uh, and this is the actual adapter that allows you to convert your standard xlr to 6.5 millimeter audio cable that connects the mic to your audio equipment to a 3.5 millimeter uh, system that is quite commonly used in you know, smartphones computers as well as other modernized small audio equipment right so this is quite useful the cable itself the xlr cable uh, comes in the standard uh, 6.5 millimeter. So if you're shooting on your phone, uh, you'll find this adapter quite useful, right? And uh, the next thing is this uh, boom adapter fixture that allows you to, you know, uh, fix the mic on a standard boom arm. It has the standard uh, boom adapter uh, threaded hole that allows you to, you know, fix the, fix the mic in place when capturing audio when uh, shooting in cases where you know you need the boom arm right quite useful also and you also get the microphone holding adapter that fits quite snugly well on your uh, camera systems particularly if you're shooting on a dslr camera or any other equipment that has this adapter fixture right here and it also has an a threaded hole that allows you to you know thread the adapter in place and uh, hold your mic uh, on a need uh, basis. So stay tuned, we'll show you guys how to use this particular adapter as well as this particular adapter, depending on your shooting needs. Again, you may choose to use the mic as, as it is, or you may also choose to use these adapters. They come in handy, so have them, and uh, stay tuned for more awesome videos on how to set up the mic and how to use these adapters for your audio capture, right? And lastly, there is this uh, microphone itself. Feels quite lightweight. And uh, in terms of branding and uh, packaging, it has this awesome uh, polythene film around it for extra protection against uh, dust. Let me remove that. Right, so in terms of weight, the mic is quite uh, lightweight at around 123 grams of total weight. Uh, that makes it a quite lightweight accessory to have and uh, suitable for use in your daily audio capture you know purposes whether in the field or in-house or windows it does a quite good job in terms of uh, dimensions i think this is around two centimeters of uh, diameter and a length of around uh, 36 or so yeah 36 centimeters right uh, additional, you know, features include the upper side uh, diaphragm that, you know, protects the internal parts from extra impact or uh, any form of damage as a result of falling down or any form of structural impact that may cause damage on the diaphragm, as well as the speakers uh, meant for audio capture inside, right? On the sides are these uh, fins that are meant to allow uh, selectively allow sound from multiple directions. When I position the mic this way, I expect audio to be captured uh, straight ahead. Uh, a large percentage of the audio is captured from straight ahead of the mic and uh, another um, <clears throat> range is captured from up and below where the actual uh, diaphragms are located, right? 
on the sides uh, being a condenser microphone and uh, the sides are designed from solid uh, material that helps to minimize audio capture from uh, this side so it's quite good in selectively allowing audio capture and preventing you know some level of noise right uh, the bottom side is a standard xlr female connector that connects to the uh, standard xlr to 6.5 millimeter uh, audio cable right and uh i think that's pretty much it besides that is this uh, two different modes of audio capture the first one of which is the normal uh, audio capture the second one of which is the tele mode and uh the difference between the two is actually quite slight you would realize the difference if you connect uh, the actual mic to a sound card where you get an opportunity to you know evaluate uh, the the uh, sound quality right and uh, lastly in the box is this uh, 6.5 uh, meter uh, xlr to 6.5 millimeter audio cable the cable connects to the xlr uh, adapter just like that and locks in place preventing you know it from accidentally coming out removing it is simple just pressing the button and pull out the cable right as simple as that and it's quite well padded to ensure you know that it prevents any form of interferences that may you know result from shaking the um, xlr uh, connection to the actual mic so it feels quite steady and feels quite uh, well built right this audio uh, jack here can also connect perfectly to this adapter right converting it from the standard uh, 6.5 millimeter a uh, jack that is commonly found in audio equipment such as uh, the sound cards as well as the mixers right converting that to the standard 3.5 millimeter jack that connects to most audio devices such as your mobile phone or your computer right and uh, besides that is this actual uh, windshield it's a foam padding designed out of a mattress kind of material that allows you to you know filter any form of external noise any wind any gust of air that ensures odd, uh, perfect audio capture and that slides in just like that covering the entire uh, diaphragm uh, fin area that ensures a good audio capture while preventing a gust of wind from providing unnecessary uh, interference right so i think that's it straight from the box the mic feels quite uh nicely built right so in terms of power the mic is powered by a standard 1.5 volt uh, dry cell double uh, a dry cell battery that fits just like that and uh, after fitting the battery you lock it in place and i think that's all you can just use the rechargeable uh, dry cell battery for extra you know field work uh, uh, application as well as you know minimizing the cost of having to buy uh, these dry cells every other time you run out of power, right? So stay tuned, guys. We'll be sure to, you know, do an extensive testing of the microphone's functionality, how good of a job it does, you know, particularly when compared to uh, more advanced uh, options such as the Behringer as well as the Sennheiser uh, condenser microphones.